You guys, what is the 411? What has everybody been up to? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 on-screen parents and kids with surprisingly small age gaps. How can you behave so shamelessly in public? Because it was meant to be. You know, even though he was only a, a couple years older, he really took me under his wing because I hadn't worked that much. Um, so uh, it was, yeah, really special. As always, whatever you choose to be, you will have a proud mother. For this list, we'll be looking at the most unrealistic age gaps between actors in film and in television, whom the audience is meant to believe are parent and child. Which on-screen parent-child age gap do you find the most implausible? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Jennifer Goodwin and Jennifer Morrison, Once Upon a Time. Admittedly, dark curses are partly involved in explaining why Emma and her parents are about the same age. I have a kid. You'd think I'd remember that. Yeah, you'd think. You do kind of have my chin. And in reality, Jennifer Morrison is just one year younger than her on-screen parents, too. After sending their baby to a land without magic, the Charmings, along with the other Enchanted Forest residents, are whisked off to Storybrooke where they've been frozen in time for 28 years. Before discovering their true relationship, Emma and Mary Margaret become friends and even roommates. You're gonna be back late, I can wait to eat with you. No, don't do that. I'll leave you leftovers. So when the curse breaks and they're reunited as mother and daughter, it makes for an interesting shift in dynamics. We thought you were gonna be back later. Yeah, well, we weren't. So maybe next time you can put a tie in the door or send a text or... You know what, I, I'm gonna go make some tacos. Number nine, Sally Field and Tom Hanks, Forrest Gump. Mrs. Gump is a loving and doting mother who's always full of great advice to impart to her son. Don't ever let anybody tell you they're better than you, Forrest. If God intended everybody to be the same, he'd have given us all braces on our legs. After all, it was Mama who said that... Life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Sally Field undergoes physical transformations as Forrest's beloved mother throughout the movie to reflect the progressing timeline. However, not only is Field just about 10 years older than Hanks, but also a few years earlier, the pair starred together in the movie Punchline, where she played his love interest. I didn't know it, but I was destined to be your mama. Despite the implausible age gap between them, Hanks apparently still calls her mama to this very day. Number eight, Constance Marie and Jennifer Lopez. Selena. You know two actors are probably of a similar age when they audition for the same role. Are they gonna love me, Mama? Yes, ma'am. They're gonna love you. This was the case for Constance Marie, who read for the part of Selena alongside J-Lo. But when the role ultimately went to Lopez, the director Gregory Nava asked if she would be interested in playing Selena's mother, Marcella, instead. In those days, there was no other way. After going and reading the script, she decided to go for it, despite the less than four year age gap between her and Lopez. I'm gonna be a grandma? Well, not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, with a skillful hair and makeup team, Marie was given a makeover that helped her transform into an older woman. Number seven, Janet Hubert and Karen Parsons, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Since Aunt Viv doesn't turn 40 until season two, we can deduce that she and Philip were quite young when they started their family. Look how beautiful you are. Look. Look how beautiful you are. Why do you think I make it home by six o'clock every night? And when we first meet the Banks, their eldest daughter, Hillary, played by Karen Parsons, is in college. This means that Viv would have had to be around 18 when she had her first child. Mom, it's only a weekend. Besides, at your age, you should be able to babysit your little sister. Nah. -uh. Even so, the OG Aunt Viv, played by Janet Hubert, is actually only nine years older than her on-screen daughter. After the third season, Hubert was contentiously replaced by Daphne Maxwell Reed, though she's a more realistic 18 years older than Parsons. You know, Miss Banks, since you had that baby, there's something different about you. <laughs> Number six, Drew Barrymore and Adam Garcia, Riding in Cars with Boys. This biographical movie tells the story of Beverly D'Onofrio, a teen mom who faces many obstacles as she strives to achieve her dream of becoming a writer. Now, I'm gonna drop you off with daddy, and then mommy is 
just gonna go do something that's gonna change the rest of our lives. We follow Bev's journey over the years as she juggles motherhood, completing her education and pursuing her dream job. I was a good mother. No, I was a great mother. But what I had to go through to keep you in one piece. This is another movie where the same actress plays the mother throughout, while the kid is played by several actors to show the passing of time. So when Jason reaches college age, he's played by Adam Garcia. I don't think I would have been better off without you. You are not what went wrong with anything. You were what saved me. Not only was the actor a 28-year-old playing an 18-year-old, but in real life, he's almost two years older than his on-screen mom. Number five, Estelle Getty and B. Arthur, The Golden Girls. Sophia and Dorothy were amongst the most iconic mother-daughter duos of their time. And if they still gave you a hard time, what did I tell you to say? My mother can have you eliminated with one phone call. <laughs> but did you know that Estelle Getty, who plays the dry-humored matriarch, was actually a year younger than B. Arthur? This is the proudest I've been of you in my whole life. Thanks, Ma. Can you believe it? My whole life, and this is the proudest I've ever been. <laughs> I'm depressed, I need a cookie. Sophia is meant to be in her 80s, so every day, Getty reportedly underwent a three-hour transformation to get into character. Maurice Stein, the artist behind her look, said, quote, when she first sits down in the chair, she's just Estelle, a nice, lovely lady. But as the makeup goes on, she becomes this snappy old lady, wisecracking and crusty. I have to admit, you would have made a very good psychologist. Great idea, pussycat. Give Blanche an office with a couch and a license to charge by the hour. Now that's what we call being committed to a role. Number four, Heath Ledger and Kate Mara, Brokeback Mountain. Despite being just 26 when this movie was released, Heath Ledger was already a big Hollywood name. Whereas when Kate Mara got the gig for playing his daughter, Alma Jr., the actress hadn't had much onset experience and was only about four years his junior. I was thinking maybe I could Maybe I could come stay with you. I'd be an awful good help, I know I would. Ledger's character, Ennis, is meant to be about 40 when the two characters interact on screen, so the actor made small alterations to his body language in order to appear older. Kurt fella. He loves you. Yeah, Daddy. He loves me. Speaking on Watch What Happens Live, Mara said about working with Ledger, You know, even though he was only a, a couple years older, he really took me under his wing because I hadn't worked that much. Um, so uh, it was, yeah, really special. Number three, Cher and Meryl Streep. Mamma Mia, here we go again. Cher and Meryl Streep go way back, having played best friends and roommates in the 1983 biographical drama movie, Silkwood. The only thing everybody says I'm crazy about to live with you. The singer was even offered the part of Tanya in the first Mamma Mia movie, but decided to pass. Considering the three-year age gap between the actresses, we can certainly see more logic in Cher playing Donna's friend slash bandmate rather than her mother. But Ole Parker wrote the part of Ruby specifically for Cher, and this time he wasn't taking no for an answer. You weren't invited. That's the best kind of party, little girl. The casting ended up dividing audiences, while her role in the movie seemed to raise more questions than it answered. Somewhere in the crowd, there's you. Number two, Amy Poehler and Rachel McAdams, Mean Girls. She's not a regular mom, she's a cool mom. Please stop talking. Played by Amy Poehler, Mrs. George gives us some of the funniest quotes from this teen cult comedy. Is there alcohol in this? <gasps> oh God, honey, no. What kind of mother do you think I am? <laughs> Why do you want a little bit? Because if you're gonna drink, I'd rather you do it in the house. Regina's mom so desperately wants to be down with the kids. Mom, <laughs> could you go fix your hair? Okay. You girls keep me young. Ugh, I love you so much. Given the real life age gap between her and her on-screen daughter, she isn't as far off as you might think. Although Rachel McAdams plays a junior in high school, she was actually in her mid-20s at the time. Meanwhile, Polar was in her early 30s when Mean Girls was released. It's no wonder Mrs. George feels like one of the girls, as she very well could be. You guys need anything? Some snacks? A condom? Let me know. Oh, God love you. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Kelly Rowan and Ben McKenzie, The O.C. 
There's just a 13 year age gap between this on screen adoptive mother and son. Ryan's gonna stay with us now. That's awesome. Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Jensen Ackles, Supernatural. Ackles is only 12 years younger than his TV dad. Dad. Hey, boys. Holly Marie Combs and Lucy Hale, Pretty Little Liars. Combs would have been 15 in real life when she had her on screen daughter. You needed us that next morning and. We slept in, your father and I. I don't think we or I ever apologized for that. Mom, it's okay. Nell Hudson and Lauren Lyle, Outlander. Incredibly, there are just less than three years between these actresses. Daddy. Daddy, who is that woman? Daddy. Sassanach witch. Winona Ryder and Zachary Quinto, Star Trek. Ryder is less than six years older than Quinto. As always, whatever you choose to be, you will have a proud mother. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Angelina Jolie and Colin Farrell, Alexander. Rather than cast an age-appropriate woman as Alexander's mom, Olympias, the role of the queen in the 2004 Oliver Stone epic went to Angelina Jolie, who was then in her late 20s. Behave so shamelessly in public. Because it was meant to be. Meanwhile, the title role was played by Colin Farrell, who's barely a year younger than she is. This movie was such a flop that it's completely understandable if it fell off your radar. After all, these two don't exactly make a very convincing mother and son duo. A mother loves too much. Who shall I sing to sleep at night anymore? To make matters even weirder, dating rumors surrounded these actors at the time, although they never confirmed a romantic relationship. I taught you my heart, Alexander! And by Zeus and Dionysus, you grew beautiful. Tom, your sorcerous soul. Your soul is mine, Alexander. It's almost as if Hollywood isn't aware that there are plenty of talented older women who could totally rock these roles. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.